When we talk about succession, I want that to sort of be the basis for our conversation today. That we want to talk about why does it really matter? Why do we need to pay attention um, and plan for, for things like this? Um, what are some of the impacts to the accounting profession? But really, it's not just about accounting, right? It's our, any industry. It's, it's all of the, the, the organizations that we're in. And what are some new paradigms, some new things for us uh, to be thinking about as we shift? Over 200 men have lost their jobs because of the Me Too movement, right? Huge disruptor. So a lot of different things that are happening from uh, a disruptive perspective where we did not anticipate that CEO positions, C-suite positions, other leadership positions would become available because of these types of things that were occurring. Yeah, I'm not retiring anytime soon. Exactly. Two-thirds said, well, I don't have any plans to go anywhere, so why do I need a plan? Right? That's a good point, but remember the last slide? <laughs> you may not have a plan to go anywhere, but your boss might get, you know, kicked out for some fun reason or another, and the board replaces the CEO, and all of a sudden, there's a new C-suite in town. We don't necessarily think strategically about using people data to drive our businesses, but it's actually really, really important for us to sort of know who we have, where they are, what skills they have, what knowledge they have, how they're going to help us grow our business. I don't like to use the word succession planning because it's really more about thinking about your workforce and thinking about the needs of your workforce in the future. Just like you're, you have a business strategy and you're, you're anticipating what new markets you'll enter, what new products you might offer, what new services you want to offer, you're doing forecasting with financials, right? In the same way, we need to be thinking about our talent and need to be thinking about what is the talent that we need to deliver on that. There are many, many critical individual contributor non-people management roles in our businesses that are absolutely fundamental to keeping our business thriving. So all of the elements of how do I really look at my talent, how do I identify high potentials, how do I think about development, how do I give people opportunities, how do I recruit, how do I select, how do I create learning strategies, it all needs to be integrated and it all needs to be part of a cohesive plan.